Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I'm happy to show you a car that we're offering for sale that is definitely in the fun category. Come on over and take a look at this. This car is a 1977 Triumph Spitfire. It has been a Pennsylvania-owned car, we believe, its entire life. We do have the original Triumph Passport to Service book, which we'll take pictures for you. It was originally owned by Dan Shaw. He lived in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. It was sold in June of 1978 as a 77 model year by Hillco Sports, located in Bowlesburg, Pennsylvania. It then went to the, ended up in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We purchased it from a collector in Harrisburg who had four British cars, and we purchased two of them right now. And his cars, he had purchased this car around 2015. He loved driving his cars. So this car is not cosmetically perfect. I'll point out, it is not, if you're looking for a Concours quality Triumph, this is not your car. If you're looking for a very well-maintained, drivable, fun car, I would strongly recommend this car. If you look at it, we took a lot of pictures of it. The chrome front bumper is a little faded. It's an older repaint. It's an average repaint. It's shiny, but it certainly is not perfect. Uh, the interior was originally tan. It was resprayed to be black. Uh, nicely done, but it originally was a tan interior. We also have photos. We have the top boot cover. The convertible top itself, the hood, is in excellent condition. We also have the full tonneau for the car, which is in like new condition. So come on over here. Let me show you the motor. These cars, when they're prepped, are really fun to drive. They're like little go-karts. In the previous owner's history of owning the car, he did a lot of service work on it, and we have the records and receipts for this. Among things that were done since 2015, the clutch was replaced, the entire clutch assembly plus the rear main seal. They also dropped the oil pan and resealed the oil pan. They took the front timing cover off and resealed that with a new front seal. They also just recently replaced the alternator on the engine, the fuel pump was just replaced. The clutch hydraulics were replaced. Carburetors were rebuilt. They built or installed a custom vent system for the crankcase ventilation that's located in front of the radiator. So it's just a car, and you can see in the suspension where they've done ball joint work. And they also, the car is actually, uh, for Pennsylvania, very, very clean rust-wise, very solid, original floors, original trunk. Please take a look at all the photos we've taken of the car with everything out of the trunk so you can see the sheet metal, all original. They did, uh, not too long ago, they repaired the rear frame member where the differential is mounted, which was a problem with the Spitfires. Uh, and you can see in the chassis photos where that repair was done. It was professionally done, nicely finished, good welds, and that is where the rear differential mounts to the frame assembly. Coming along to the interior of the car, as I mentioned, it's been turned into a black interior. Has the wood dash, average condition. It has to have a cap on the dash. Again, average. But this car is not about the cosmetics. Uh, again, it's, it's really a hoot to drive. It is a four-speed manual. It also has electric overdrive. So four-speed with the optional electric overdrive transmission. Coming to the back, we have a, a luggage rack on the trunk, which is kind of cool. And we photograph all of this. He has a Triumph cover for his tonneau cover. He's got the spare tire cover. The jack is all included with the car. Car does have an aftermarket exhaust system, obviously. Uh, it has a great sound. Uh, it's not annoying, it's just a lot of fun. And this was, of his four cars, this was one of the cars that he just would drive a lot and it was always reliable for him. It ran well, and just a hoot to take out and blast around in. Coming along this side of the car, nice and straight. The rockers are good on the car, very solid. And again, it has been repainted, but nicely done. This side is the same. The seats, the padding and bolstering is nice. And then again, coming up on this side of the car, it does have K&N style air filters. Uh, a lot of little modifications done that obviously 
somebody who likes driving the car would do to these cars. So if you're looking for just a relatively inexpensive Triumph, it's going to be a hoot to drive, easy to maintain, and a lot of car, a lot of, a lot of smiles per dollar on these cars. So please ask us any questions you may have. We'll be happy to answer them. We'll be taking the car out for a test drive and take you along. And we'll also do a starting video for you. And um, good luck. It's going to be, find a good home for this car. Thanks for looking.